Alright, let's get this show on the road. That's what I say. So I we'll start with Sonic 1. Why are you oh. saying Sonic 1 like that? As if it didn't start I decided to get something creative. I got a side Even though I'm not a big I mean, without Sonic 1, there'd I'm be no Sonic Rush. Okay, big... okay, we already agreed to keep it to main series games only. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. Ha! You're just saying that because your side games were trash compared to ours, I got the advanced trilogy and battle. But you didn't get a TV show, did I you? decided to react to this because I want to get creative. There, Sonic. Shut up, Sonic. Anyway, Sonic 1 S tier, it has Green Hill, Starlight Zone was great. And yeah, Marvel it was Zone true. Was underrated. Wait, what? Not Sonic defending Marble Zone. Really? We're going to be here forever. I think Sonic 1 is a solid A tier. I think C tier. But I'll put it in B so the two of you can shut uh, up and nice. move on to the next game. I'm not Way a big low, Rain okay. fan, right, but... For an actual S-tier game, Sonic 2, literally no bad zone in this masterpiece. I gotta side with Sonic on that one. But Metropolis is a blatant rip off of Grand Metropolis. Sonic, stop being biased just because Heroes is your game. Sonic 2 came out 11 years prior. Yeah, besides Metropolis enforces Solo's both. Yo, Yo shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, Sonic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, can't say shit to you people. I think Sonic right. 2 deserves A tier at best, but I don't mind putting it in S. All right, cool. Sonic 2 and S tier. What about Sonic 3? What do you mean by Sonic 3? Here we go again. Can you be more specific? Wow. Look, Sonic, if you want to separate Sonic 3 and Knuckles, just say Sonic You guys had to kill out. Wow. Wow. It's just tiering. Sonic and Knuckles is A tier at best. Well, yeah, but as a package, I still think it deserves the S. The package makes it worse. But I'm fine with putting 3 and Knuckles in S tier as long as 3 is higher. Higher than 3 and Knuckles or higher than Sonic 2? Higher than both. You shut the fuck up, Sonic. It's wow. not higher than Sonic 2. I'm putting Sonic 3 above Sonic 2. Deal with it. Wait, I think we forgot something. Oh, yeah. Sonic CD. Always seem to forget where that mid goes in the timeline. Yep, totally mid. Okay, both of you are being a bunch of babies. Look, yeah. it's just <laughs> best level design. An insult to 2D platformers. Big words coming from the colors guy, but he's right. Metal Sonic was done way better in Heroes anyway. Yo, shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up, Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> I can't stand you both sometimes. Okay, I know Sonic loves this game, so we'll put it in B just so we can move on. Now it's time for Sonic Adventure. Easy S tier game. Here we started go. off 3D Sonic right and had amazing voice acting as well. You literally can't be serious. Yeah. What amazing voice acting. I know none of you are talking, but I do enjoy Sonic Adventure. It's a great build up to the main event. I like, like this guy breathing in. And I'm guessing the main event is your game, Sonic? Well, duh. Literally nothing you put out in the 2000s was critically acclaimed. Oh, look who's getting cocky because we're only doing main series. Yeah, Sonic. You really don't want to go there with the critically acclaimed argument. Let's just put Adventure in S tier and move on. All right, fine. Adventure 1 goes in S tier, and I'll just also put Adventure 2 in there. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, Sonic, uh, you I agree. you better not be complaining about Adventure 2 in S tier. Nobody likes treasure hunting or mech shooting, and the rail grinding mechanics were trash. You're just saying that because they dumbed the rails down in your games. You can't even control your speed on the rails in 06. Yeah, I mean, Sonic, you're being a bit too harsh, but fine. I'll put Adventure 2 in A tier then. Still too high, but okay. All right, time for Sonic Heroes. Easy S tier. Greatest game ever made. Yeah. No surprise there. Is what I would say if it wasn't some slippery bullshit. No way wow. You say that with cool. Boy Sonic, just give it the S tier. Otherwise, we'll be here for ages. All right, fine, but you two owe me one. Anyway, time cool. for Sonic 06. Truly underrated game that was unfairly hated on release for a few glitches. Does he really yeah. think people are buying this shit? I mean, he kissed a human. I can't take him seriously anymore. Oh, good one. Journalist 3485. You gonna mention <laughs> the rough transition into 3D? Oh, wait. 3D started with you. That was some retroactive opinion changing bullshit, and you know it. Yeah, 06 is clearly E tier, but Sonic clearly needs this, Funny. so we'll give it C tier. Anyway, on to Sonic Unleashed. Clearly a masterpiece, and showed everyone boost gameplay done right. So, I like is this that the point where we pretend the Werehog levels never existed? Yep, precisely at this point. <laughs> you need to calm down. The Werehog levels were fun. I mean, a part of me enjoyed transforming at night, you know? It got Amy off my back, at least. Well, I guess that counts for something. Yeah. Fine, I'll give it A tier. Now on to Sonic Colors. What do you think you're doing? Aren't you forgetting something? Here he goes again. Two things to be precise. Look, <laughs> storybook games aren't main series. They were on a home console and developed by Sonic Team. We're not counting colors if we're not counting secret rings and black lights. I didn't see you complaining when we skipped over Shadow the Hedgehog. My name isn't on that game. Select <laughs> outrage, clearly. Look, it's not even on the tier list. Let's just call them both B tier and move on. I agree. Easy for you to say. You have <laughs> two S tier games on our list. What can I say? I'm the best. And speaking of S tier, Sonic Sonic Colors goes right up there. No, it doesn't. Be serious, man. Planet Wisp, Starlight Carnival. I agree with him. Sonic in 3D finally found its footing. Did Sonic really just say 3D? Yeah, I don't know who he thinks he's fooling. Look, both of you shut up. I gave you heroes an S. We're putting colors in S or else. Okay, okay fine, Wisp boy. That's right. Now on to one I think we can all agree on. 
generation. That's yeah. very bad. Easily the worst game. What are you people talking about? I thought you loved the control and level design. They brought back levels from every era Agreed. of Sonic. Yeah, and then they made you run through our levels. Why didn't we get the chance to be in our own levels? And they cut wow. the at-dawn section from Speed Highway. Truly a disgrace. I mean, they should have gotten me what to the classic Sonic at least. Shut up! You got three TV shows and no games! You shouldn't even be here. You tell he's still feeling wow. that TV show comment from earlier. It's blatantly <laughs> obvious. Okay, since both of you are pouting about this, I'll only put Jens in A. And we'll put Lost World just next to we'll it. put Lost World just where? Yeah, Wisp Boy, we let that shit slide with colors. But Lost World is an easy D tier, man. The Wisps get even worse than in colors. Okay, what? Fine. We'll compromise with C tier. But Mania is definitely S tier. Of course you'd think that. Your whole era was full of rehashing themes from the past. Didn't 06 literally just bite the level aesthetics from Adventure 1? He got wow. you there. Both of you shut up. That was a reboot. Totally different from a rehash. And Mania spends more time showing us past levels levels to the point where we might as well just play the past games but they improved a lot of it i mean mean bean machine and chemical plant man we shouldn't even be including this game it's not sonic team therefore it's not main series right but it was good so we break the rules just accept that the storybook games were trash and put mania in s yeah i think mania is an easy s but i'll drop it to a since sonic is making a big fuss <laughs> now it's time for frontiers oh, don't think we're letting you off that easy sonic really thought we were just going to pretend forces doesn't exist it's not sonic 4 now, just put forces in E tier so we can move on. You people are me. But me. Colors Ultimate doesn't count since it's just a remaster, so don't even think of bringing that up. Literally, you were the one who brought it up, Sonic, but now that you did... Oh my god, seizure, seizure, yeah, seizure. Very I paid mature, for a seizure guys. on the Epic Game Store. Okay, can we just move on to Frontiers now? Yeah, he's had enough. Let's just put Frontiers in B and call it a day. B tier? It's clearly an S. Yes. Open World Sonic, hello? Literally, 06 and Unleashed did this years ago. And literally, Adventure 1 did this years before that, too. Nobody was talking to you, Sonic. I'm not gonna let you take the credit for things that I did first you did first like the what? spin dash oh wait you copied that from sonic 2 <laughs> oh wait sonic 3d blast i thought we were keeping this discussion to main series only come to think of it adventure one stole so much music from there too mr original yes wow. you're both unoriginal but back to frontiers those supersonic boss fights man the combat was so fun inferior Agreed. to unleashed combat but whatever i know where hog boy isn't talking mr 30 minutes to beat one level skill issue yes yeah, sonic you gotta <laughs> learn to get good scrub didn't they add tail saves and colors all Ultimate. It's a remaster. It's not main series. Selective reasoning, but okay. Frontiers is a B at best, and I'm not accepting anything higher. Agree. Oh, so now you're on the same page. Well, fuck both of you. It's going in S. Yes. What the hell it is. I'm leaving. I'm leaving too. Always copying. Shut up. Wow. Those of maybe should agree more ga on gaming tiering. But this was pretty cool to watch. Finally, some peace and quiet. Wait, you did the tier list without me? Two days later. Okay, fine. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for forcibly putting Frontiers in S tier. But Frontiers is in S tier. I didn't mean to make you feel oh, like Sonic me. and Sonic. It takes a big man to admit that. Thanks, Sonic. No, it doesn't. He just wants more views on his YouTube channel and he needs us to do it. That is totally he has a point. not true. Also, please subscribe because if you don't, we're literally never doing this again. See, I, I just subscribe to my. Matter. I just subscribe. We stick together. We're basically best friends or brothers or variations of the same person. Yeah, he has a point Sonic about that. Shit, Sonic, we got money. I mean, a tier Sorry list. I wasn't to make. talking so about that. this off with Sonic One Eight Bit version. A nice little side game to play when you're bored of playing Sonic Adventure. Yeah, I don't kind of like literally it. Never again, Sonic. This game existed before it was repackaged into your game. And yet nobody cared about it until it got bundled in with Adventure DX. Wow. Next. Okay, wow. So nobody's gonna fight for this? I guess I'll just put it in C tier then. And on to Sonic 2 8-bit. I already told you, we don't care about 8-bit. Now hold on just a minute. The 8-bit games weren't perfect, but True. Sonic 2 8-bit has its merits. I mean, I love that bridge zone music. That was Sonic 1 8-bit, you idiot. I told you we don't care. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, Sonic. I'll just put the game in B tier and move on to Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Do we look like we've been to an arcade in Japan? Seriously? I did. Well, no, but you well, not in Japan. The game, I did see an arcade of a like, TikTok. For piracy now of our own games. Well, in Sonic's defense, they literally never re-released Sonic 06. What do they expect us to do? Um, play wow, like games, the little like range Sonic in it. Heroes? Was that a real question? They haven't ported that either. Only my games and the classics get re-released nowadays. Deal with it. I mean, if you want, we can talk about Colors Ultimate again. No, no. <laughs> we'll just move on to the next game. All right, I know it's 8-bit, but Sonic Chaos was pretty solid, if you ask me. Chaos was extremely solid. The one in my game, that is. Now, how did I know you were going to say that, Sonic? Because it's true. Hey! Oh, Redfield. I don't want to see vampires. I don't want to see my Sonic oh, no. tearing. So 
Sometimes that comes in handy. <laughs> Seriously, I want to see my tea ring. Who will make you feel comfortable with the price? Well, no one made me feel more comfortable. I don't care. Prue, what kind of dumb name is Sonic Chaos anyway? Come on, man. What, because Ethics. of the Chaos Emeralds? But those are in, like, all the games, right? I mean, it's simple and straight to the point. What's not to like about that? Yeah, of course, you love simple and straight to the point, Mr. Luminous Forest. Totally uncalled What's for. Next? A Sonic game called Sonic Rings or Sonic Zone? Well, actually, there, there is, is a fan game one. from the early 2000s called Sonic Zone. Not great by today's standards, but fan games were in their infancy back then. Did you seriously just well actually hit him? Nerd! I think that's our cue to move on to the next game. All right, Sonic Spinball. What the hell is wrong with you, Sonic? I like that Aren't game. Pit, I like it. Look, there's like a million side games and it wasn't on the tier list website. Stop antagonizing me. All right, enough wow. fighting. We'll just pretend we put the game in A tier. S tier. S tier and move on. All Thank right, you. Now, can we talk about Sonic Spinball? And this had a 16-bit version, so don't you dare say anything, Sonic. I liked it. Oh, okay. Definitely an enjoyable game, but I never Thank made you. it past the first level. Seems I like did. a new problem to me. Wait, there were multiple levels? Well, seems I like it wasn't just me. Well, maybe if you guys actually sat down to play play the game instead of just opening it in Mega Collection for a few minutes, then you'd know this. You're lucky I even tried the game out. If it wasn't for Rage quitting on that stupid barrel in Carnival Night, then <laughs> wouldn't have even gotten touched in Mega Collection. Wait. You really rage quit on the barrel? Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. Both of you shut the fuck up. It wasn't clear what to do, okay? Wow. This is why Sonic 2 is better. All right, I think we should just put Spinball in B tier and move on to the next game before we make Sonic cry. Not funny. <laughs> time for Sonic Drift. You mean the shameless wannabe writers? D tier. Sonic, didn't you give me that whole speech before about referencing future games? Oh, don't give me that. You know this game is lame. I'd rather play All-Stars Racing Transform than this. Thanks. Wait, was that a compliment? I mean, people make wow. excuses for the Super Nintendo Mario Kart, but they won't for Sonic Drift. I know the graphics Mario Kart's are better than Drift. Yet, but it was a decent attempt. Weren't you literally just hating on the 8-bit games for being 8-bit? Do you know what else is 8-bit? Those trash Gameland remixes in color. Don't make me come over there. Oh, what are you doing, <laughs> boy? Both of you, stop. Now so well, we can move on to the next game now. Always acting like he's in charge. Anyway, on to Sonic Triple Trouble. Is it 8-bit? Just keep going. I don't want to hear <laughs> this again. All right, then. Next, we've got Knuckles Chaotix, Tails Sky Patrol, and Tails Adventure. Ain't we nobody got time for that shit. Is my name on it? Yeah, I know, right? Wow. What was I thinking? And I'll just put Sonic Drift 2 in D tier as well, since you guys clearly hate all the side games that aren't yours. Speaking of which, Sonic Labyrinth is next. Actually, this game is pretty fun for those of us who learn to use our I brains. I like a good labyrinth. Not everything has to be 24-7 platforming. But everything it's is supposed to be fun, you. and Labyrinth is not. Yeah, Sonic, there's no need to be elitist just because you like mid. I'm putting this in D tier along with the next game, Sonic Blast. Put 3D Blast in D tier as well. You can't be serious. Uh, Your game, Sonic Adventure, literally copied so much from this game. He clearly wants everyone to forget about 3D Blast because he wants Adventure to be seen as the original 3D Sonic. Fact yeah. one. He is you true. of all people have no authority when it comes to 3D Sonic. People love Generation. And two. Are you seriously pretending like you want to remember this game over adventure? It ain't about wow. who did it first, it's about who did it right. Preach. I mean, Unleashed did everything better than SA2, even though SA2 pioneered the linear 3D Sonic gameplay that made it wow. so different from SA1. Okay, now both of you are talking trash. I'm just going to put 3D Blast in C tier so we can pretend this conversation never happened. All right, time for Sonic the Fighters. You mean the game that wasn't good I enough like to a good put fighting. in Mega Collection? I mean, it was in Gem's Collection. That's exactly my point. Like who makes a classic Sonic collection, puts in a bunch of Game Gear games and Sonic CD again, and thinks people want to buy this shit? Unnecessary CD hate, but whatever. Wow. Honestly, the Sonic R soundtrack was probably the best thing in that collection. I'm putting the fighters in C tier and putting R in A tier for the soundtrack alone. No disagreements there. But True. But don't you think we should include Sonic Schoolhouse? How old are you, Sonic? It's a fucking baby game. Do I look like Forces Tales to you? Hey, leave him alone. <laughs> this is Montreal for IGN because they thought Sonic Pocket had Adventure was a 10 over every other Sonic game. I mean, Sonic Rush was right there, and they give a 10 to this? Well, actually, Sonic Rush wasn't out yet when this came out. See how annoying it is, nerd? Very funny. Wow. Sonic, put this game in B tier, and that Mario Party clone can go there, too. Shuffle is goaded. Wow. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I agree with Sonic. I'm not playing Shuffle when there were three Mario Parties to pick from on N64. Yeah. Both of you are some fake-ass fans. Anyway, let's move on to Sonic Advance. Oh, you mean the real Sonic 4? That is such a desperate thing. 
thing to say. Wow. It's not a classic Sonic game just because it's 2D and people liked it. What he said! But your games actually were classic in 2D, and people liked... Well, they liked it with generations, not so much with forces. Bird! Can we please wow. stay on the fucking topic for once, please? If you just put the entire Advanced Trilogy in S tier right now, we'd be done with this already. I mean, the only Advanced True. game worthy of that is Advanced 2. 1 and 3 are A tier at best. No, Advanced 1 and 2 are A tier, but Advanced 3 is S tier. Those hub worlds, the characters teaming up, the three acts, so perfect. Of course, CD. I like all of them. But I ain't complaining. I agree with this guy. The franchise went to shit after Advance 3 anyway. Are you still mad because I took over and gave the people Rush? I thought we squashed this. All right, since Sonic is still pouting about this being his last game, we'll just put the whole trilogy in S tier. But Sonic Rush is going there too. Whatever. No other place Rush could go. Yes. It pioneered the formula still used today, has an amazing soundtrack, and improved on the Advance trilogy in every way. Shut up. We already put it in S. Yeah, no need to gloat, Sonic. We all know the history of the boost. Let's talk about your first game, Shadow the Hedgehog. Mid, they replaced me for Sonic. And my name isn't on the title. Yeah, we'll just put this in D tier. Dumb niggas. This I... is objectively the best game in the entire franchise. I agree. Um, are you allowed to say that word, Shadow? Question. What color is my skin? You already know it doesn't work like that, Shadow. Shut up, nigga. Now put Shadow in S so I can go. Yeah, that's not happening. Chaos Control! Wait. Who put Shadow the Hedgehog in S? <laughs> yeah. Let's just move on. Let him have his win. Not like he's ever getting another game anyway. You people I agree are so Shadow. desperate to move on that you forgot Sonic Pinball Party and Sonic Battle. Wasn't much to remember anyways. I mean, Battle is a solid A tier. Pinball Party yeah. gets a B. All right, fine. Anyway, now we got Sonic Riders. The greatest racing game in the entire franchise. What an amazing way to start off the year 2006. If only yeah. the year ended as strong, right? Ha! Good one, Sonic. But you had free riders, so you shouldn't be talking right now. Just put the game in S tier right now. All right, fine. But Transformed is going there, too. Mid. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'd rather play the Rivals games than Transformed. While we're True. at it, put both of those games in S tier, too. While you're at it, why don't you put down the crack pipe you've been smoking, saying <laughs> Sonic is clearly nice. in S tier. The Rivals games are B tier at best. The same place the storybook games belong. You people were clearly just too lazy to get to level 99. I'm not grinding 99 Whoa. levels just for the game to get good. Is this a fucking JRPG? Okay, but Black Knight had such an amazing story. Remember that scene where I caught the chili dog? I was on fire! Are you done reliving the glory days? We're still putting the games in B tier. All right, time for Sonic Rush Adventure. A decent sequel to Sonic Rush. Give it S tier, but below Rush. S tier? So what you're saying is you skipped all the cutscenes with Marine the Raccoon in them? Fuck that raccoon! Yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's more like it. And since we're acknowledging your inferior sequels, we're putting Rider Zero Gravity in B tier. No comment. They gimped the trick system so hard. All right, now it's Good. time for Sonic Chronicles. Game goes hard on mute. Stop exaggerating, Sonic. Oh, so you wow. want to play the soundtrack right now? I didn't yes. say that. Yeah, unless you can listen to Central City for 30 seconds, we're putting this game in C tier. Fine. Now it's time for Sonic's last game. What do you mean, last game? Aren't you forgetting a certain monumental collab that happened in the 2000s? More like a betrayal, if you ask me. Now, hold on. The Olympic Games weren't a betrayal, Sonic. We were just burying the hatch, and the first one was the most important. Yeah. Either way, the Mario and Sonic games aren't on this tier list, so we'll have to leave them out. So again, time for Sonic's last game, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Inferior to Riders, but wow. still the superior All-Stars Racing game, no question. Yeah, sure. And this totally has nothing to do with the fact that I replaced you in Transformed, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Look who's yeah. on me now! Look, just put the game in A tier so we can move on to your game, Sonic. All right, time for Sonic 4. Episode 1 is a trash D tier. Episode 2 gets A tier for the team-based mechanics. Sonic's heroes bias True. aside, I think people are too harsh on these games just because they were called Sonic 4. I mean, they're right. Nothing worse than a long-awaited sequel that doesn't live up to expectations, free riders. Would you just let that go? I almost broke my back with that connect garbage great now wow. i have to be the mature one sonic put episode one in d tier episode two in a tier and free riders in e agreed oh so it's gang up on sonic day today wow next you're gonna tell me <laughs> colors ds is e tier it's e for easily better than colors we good one sonic at least colors ds actually owns the fact that it's a 2d game still inferior to rush but wow. close to rush adventure hard disagree but I won't pass up an opportunity to put colors in S tier again. You better not pass that up. That's the last <laughs> S tier you're getting on this list. Yeah, looking at the games we got left. 
It's not looking good for you, Sonic. Stop being so negative. I've got some gems left. And speaking of gems, we got Gens 3DS. More like Gens 2DS, if you know what I mean. What? Yeah, I mean, console <laughs> Gens was already heavy on the 2D because of classic Sonic. But this is ridiculous. Look, I know both classic and modern levels are 2D here, but they still play distinctly differently from each yeah, other. What, yeah. Boost versus Spin Dash? They're just two slightly different variations of mid. Yeah, yeah I mean, point. Sonic Rush had both a boost and Spin Dash in 2D and was actually fun. I swear, if I have to hear this dude mention Rush one more time... Yeah, <laughs> Sonic, I mean, Jen's 3DS had some bullshit level design that shows Dimps learned almost nothing from Rush. How do you wow. learn from perfection? Not like they were going to recreate a 10 out of 10 like that again. All right, I'm putting the game in B so we can move on from this Rush talk. All right, next we got Sonic Jump. Sonic who? Which version are you Oh, do you mean, I mean the tier list only shows the one phone version, version here. I'm guessing it's my Nobody version. cares! Remember when we actually used to get real side games, like on actual handheld consoles and not just phones? Careful, Sonic! You might upset Sonic's feelings with that totally true statement. What? That's wow. bullshit, and you know it! Besides, we got the Switch in 2017, and that solos any handheld you guys ever got. At least the GBA could actually run Sonic games at 60 FPS. Mania ran at 60 FPS. Sonic Rush has better graphics than Mania, and that was on the DS. I Shut swear the fuck I'm gonna knock your Rush rings out. Wow. Okay, okay. Let's put Sonic Jump in B, and we can put Sonic Dash there too. Dash is an easy S tier. It's the most downloaded Sonic game of all time. Yeah, because yeah. it's free on smartphones, and it copied Temple Run. More like it copied the GOAT. Literally just watered down aesthetics and music from Heroes into a cheaply made phone game. I mean, Heroes wow. was cheaply made on its own, given those ridiculous glitches. Okay, you want to tussle? Can't handle facts, so huh? <laughs> copying my game. Okay, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic will put Dash in A, but it's not getting an S. Fine, I'll compromise, just like the devs did with Heroes. Okay, time for Lost World 3DS. You want to talk about compromise? Lost World 3DS was a total cash grab. Agreed. I couldn't even sit through that whole game. D tier. Wow. I won't fight you on that one. Those special stages made the ones in Heroes look amazing. All right, next is Sonic Jump Fever. Why is that one talking? Okay, nobody cares. Got it. Um, we got... Spit it out. We got boom. Yes, Sonic. The quicker you put Rise of Lyric and Shattered Crystal in E tier, the better. All right, fine. But Fire and Ice is underrated, and that deserves A tier. Just because it was a boom game and not trash doesn't Sonic mean it's A tier. Good. Yeah, I'd rather give A tier to Sonic Dash 2 before I give it to Fire and Ice. All right, then. Fire and Ice in B tier. Sonic Dash 2 in A tier. But Runners deserves an S. If we were being nice, maybe version 1.0. But definitely wow. not after that 2.0 update. Spiked Walls? What were they thinking? All right, then. Runners A and Runners Adventure B tier. The game Game, wow. Tier at best. Yeah, Sonic. I know they're your games, so you have to fight for them, but come on, man. Okay, fine. Runner's Adventure C tier, but Forces Speed Battle is going in B tier. Honestly, that game wasn't half bad. Could have been A tier if they didn't name it Forces. Facts. And you can True. put that inferior Wisp Racing game in B tier so we can end this tier list. Oh yeah, Team Offline Racing. Team Sonic Racing could have been a strong A if the online features were consistent, but yeah. I just realized this tier list doesn't mention the latest side game. Sonic Speed Simulator? That thing costed more money than Runner's Premium. You mean Roblox? Life, but it is fun. I think A tier is fair. Agreed. Wow. Oh wow. Can't believe we just got through the entire tier list without anyone storming off. And we really took everyone's opinions into consideration. Amazing nice. work, guys. Um, crazy.